Yeah, so I'm really what I'm doing. Hey, what the fuck? What I'm doing. So look at that. Is that the moon? Looking at the moon, look like a trip, but not so much on the camera. Anyhow, what I'm doing, like getting up early, exercising, exercising my mind, doing things that, uh, man, look, I'm what I'm, I'm, I look at people, I listen to people, and I learn from them. I'm listening to people with millionaire mentalities. What, what do you do? Yeah, everybody don't do the same thing. That's for sure. Everybody don't do exactly the same thing. But for the most part, I'm seeing they get up early, man. They get up early. They do work out. They do exercise. They read a lot. I got a lot of reading. Well, I'm listening to shit that I could be reading, so it's sort of the same thing. But they put po a lot of positive stimuli, stimuli, stimulation into their mind. Stimulate your mind. Stimulate your mind, right? That's from way back, I'm saying. So, hey, man, I ain't a millionaire yet, but I am getting there. I am fucking comfortable. I'm doing the thing. And... You you really won't have a lot of time to be fucking fooling around with a lot of people anyway when you handling your shit and focus on your goals, whatever that is. Man, if you want to be, think about it, man. Anything worthwhile that is, you ain't got to do much to be some mediocre, below average, average shit. What do you got to do? What's that, you know? Like, no, no, no to do extraordinary things, to do things that's gonna benefit you at the end of the day. You gotta do things that the average, regular Joe Smoles won't do. You gotta be willing to do that. You gotta get up early. How you, when you gonna, if you gotta be to work for nine, how you not gonna, you know, so, right, you gotta get up earlier to be able to do that. You ain't got to, you know, do what you could do. Gradually, you could get up a little, this is what I did. Gradually, you get up a little earlier and do a little more. You got to start somewhere. Start with a goal of 10 minutes. Or don't, or don't. You know, I'm just telling, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking to the choir. Maybe I'm speaking to no one. But that's my thing. I, I mean, well, only people that want to hear that will stick around. So if you're sticking around, you want to hear that. And I think it will benefit you. It benefited me. Putting positive things. I start, um, okay, so to exercise my mind, once again, part of what I did in addition to all of that shit that I feel I need to do. I feel I need to stack it up a little higher. I need to learn another language. So I've been studying Spanish for some years. And almost every day, you know, for mm, three, four, five years, and I'm starting to get a grasp on a lot of things. I could say, I could say, well, you know, I could say some stuff. It's a lot of shit I don't know. Cause it means a whole fucking language, you know. But compared to where I was last year and, you know, like, year before last or when I started, what I knew, I know a lot of words. I know a lot of words. I know a lot of phrases. I know how to ask for things that I want. Like, I, you know, like, it seems so frustrating and, like, I'm never going to get it beyond, you know, hello, goodbye, um, how are you, house, car, you know, like, behind the basic, basic, basic stuff. I thought I'd never get it. It, it just seemed like that, because you're gone, you practice, you practice, you practice, you practice, and shit just don't make sense. And some things, it's confusing, and, and you confuse over and over again, you get that answer wrong a hundred fucking times, you know, a hundred different ways. 
but you got to keep going. And this is compared to like everything. Everything in your life is like that. You get that answer wrong a hundred times, you don't fucking quit. If that's something you want to do, if that's something you need to do, that's, that's a goal you want to accomplish, you fucking keep going. You don't quit. There ain't no quit. Quitting is not an option. Understand? In my mind, quitting is not an option. I'm not quitting this shit. Aubrey, like the thing say, like like Trinity say, you know what you already know. You've been down that road before. You already know what's down there. This is a new road. You don't know. You know? <laughs> this is this is a new opportunity. You know what's down that road. When you quit. You start exercising. You start your diet. Diet is a word. That's not what it means. But you start your, your new program. And then you quit. Well, you wasn't never committed in the first place. You was committed to, I want to lose 10 pounds or 5 pounds or whatever. And maybe you lost it and gained back 15 or 20 pounds. You wasn't committed. The shit don't work like that. You can't go on temporary diets. You got to change your diet your diet is what you eat it's not something you go on it's how you live it's a lifestyle it's what you do it, it, you can shift it around you gotta eat the same fucking thing every day you know what i mean you know like you just gotta eat oranges every day and that's all you eat but your diet is your if that's all you eat that's your diet though if all you eat is fruit fruits is your diet if all you eat is meat meats is your diet all you eat is pizza you understand so Whatever it is, it is. It's not something you go on. Not so how you, you it doesn't work like that. It's a lifestyle. You can't lose weight in a week and think that that's gonna stay like that. That don't you know, like that don't make no sense anyway. You wanna lose weight to wear a dress or whatever it is you wanna fit into for some occasion and then you find we gaining it back right afterwards. What kind of sense that make? You know, that's not healthy. Happens to the best of us now. I trying to talk like I'm better than somebody, like a day. Shit, it's still had, you know, I'm it's still a battle. It's still a battle. You still gotta fight that. Fight cravings and shit. Don't just go away. You know, but can get a little easier the more you practice it you can you can ignore um that aisle by the checkout with all the candy and chips and shit and the soda machine right before you get to it you can see it and not see it you start to learn to ignore it you could ignore the fast food restaurants after a while after a while like anything that you don't want, you can ignore it. You can see it and not see it. Because if you pass in a healthy restaurant, you might not even know that motherfucker exists. You know? And, um, yeah, man, so that's just me. I feel like that's the only way we gonna better ourselves. We gotta make those those positive changes and understand that it's up to us. It's not up to your mama. It ain't up to the government. It ain't up, you know, like, man, look, I don't know what, else. all I know is just to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I really got to get expectations of what I want someone else to do even with me like I want us to maybe I could say I want to work with somebody that's doing something that I want to do like that person is already doing it I want to be a part of what they're doing I want to learn how to do what they're doing so I can do it 
or I can do it better. Some, my son, my daughter, my old lady, my wife, your husband, whatever, your old man, like, they not doing that. You want them to be with you doing something that you don't even know what they want to do. And chances are they don't want to do it because it be obvious. You know it would be no question. Me, I wanted, I had a vision of my son doing a lot of things in the house, us building shit, us having a corporation, us selling houses as a team. And um, and I'm sure some other people had those visions too, and they don't work just like it didn't work for me. I think combination, people, people, they're their own person, but some people are more manipulative and push and make their children and guilt trip them into doing what they want them to do. And um, I think that works most of the time. So when you're not doing all of that, and you, you, you want them to do it with you, but you're giving them more free will, you're teaching them to be independent, to make their own decisions, to go their own way. Their own way is not that way. It's unfortunate to me, in my case though, I wish you could just speak. You know, some people just won't tell you, I don't want to do that. They, they'll, I don't know, play along. Maybe, you know, they think, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't answer everything. But, like, if you don't want to do it, I should know that you don't want to do it. I should know. But maybe that's on me. Maybe they did tell you directly. I don't, I don't think so. Because some people have a lot of problems expressing themselves and their feelings and things. So that I don't think. But indirectly just by not doing it, just by you having to push them so much. If they wanted to do it, it wouldn't take that. So I didn't, I'm realizing now, like I want this more than you. I want my son to help me fix the house, fix the floor. Like I didn't know how to do it. I thought we'd figure out how to do it together. I figured just me talking that talk would encourage him to want to do it, but it did not. He never did it. He never touched anything. Like to pull up that carpet and put down the floor. I said it over and over and over. I told other people, yeah, me and my son gonna do that. We're gonna learn how to, you know. It's other things too. Like that, I think that's not a bad thing. It's positive. And some people do have their children learning. You know, I, I also want to teach you skills different skills so you have options you could know if you like to do this but whether you mm, hopefully you like to do it but either way you have the skills to do it you know how to change shit fix shit do shit and have s several options to make money go to school not go to school whatever you got options that's all i was trying to do and i i, I really think um I did the best that I could, which I think, feel, believe, I did a very good job. No, I'm not no perfect parent. I'm not a perfect person. I believe that I did a very good job at raising my son to the point that I raised him to. I don't think I could do any better under the circumstances, you know. Um, other than me being perfect. And I don't think there's no perfect parents. There's no perfect people, let alone, let alone perfect parents, because there's so many variables. And, you know, no matter how much you focus on them, you know, and raising them, you still, even if you're a homemaker, like you still have your own shit to do, your own life, your own concerns. They, how can that be 100% of your focus? You got to take care of yourself too. And the house and whatever, you know, like whatever you got, if you got a dog, whatever you got going, you got to handle that too. So, you know, there is that. Okay. 
So, um, long enough. Hopefully I made my point. I'll catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.